Here in this recently cleared woodland, fox clubs are doing really well. They're pioneer species and they're very good at taking advantage of disturbed land. We've seen loads of them around this year. These fox gloves around us are about two metres tall and the flowers face downwards to avoid the rain getting in them and they all face the same direction towards the light just like sunflowers. Now they start flowering at the bottom of the plant and work their way up. In, tell us a bit more about this. Yeah they do that so they have an extended Ooh. flowering period to eliminate the danger of bad weather which reduces yeah. pollinators, number of pollinators and the other reason is if you look around us now so we're towards the end of the flowering period if you look around us now there is thick vegetation at the base of the foxglove flowers and by flowering at the top at the end of the season the flowers rise up above the rest of the vegetation yeah. and are still visible to all the pollinators. And obviously the beginning of the season, that's not an issue because there's not much vegetation. Exactly, so yeah. Lower. So let's take a look at some footage of a bee and there are loads of bees around here visiting these flowers. Foxgloves are really important for pollinators like bumblebees or longer tongue bees, for example, common, the common carder bee. Mm. But they're also steeped in folklore mythology and that mottled effect you can see the bee coming in and landing on on the inside of the tube mm. of the flower uh, used to be considered handprints left by fairies. Aww. And foxgloves themselves have got really ominous names like dragon's bell, um, bloody man's finger, goblin's gloves, witch's gloves, feet steeped in folklore, yeah. They are fascinating looking plants. Yeah, they're so unusual. We were always told not to touch them when we're younger. Is that that's because they're poisonous, right? Yeah, they are. And if you consume the plant, the flower directly, you are you could get heart failure or kidney failure. But in fact, they contain a toxin that is used in folk medicine and now in commercial medicine too to actually help blood flow and prevent against heart failure and increasing the body's defense mechanisms. Okay. Fascinating plant that's dangerous, deadly, but also beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.